Hello, good morning my dear children. It's our second chapter from social studies. The title of our lesson is Oceans and Continents. In this lesson we are discussing about five oceans and seven continents and also about our earth which is our home planet. We know that in the universe the only planet the earth is life is possible here. Okay, we know that the earth is very precious to us because it has some specialities. In this earth we can find water. Only earth we can find water in the universe. And also in the atmosphere. And also the atmosphere we can see only with this planet. Okay, here let's begin if you if you could travel freely as the great explorers did which place which would you choose to visit first we know that in the history we can see so many great explorers if you take the position which place you will select first to visit why why would you pick that place that is you have to see you have to say the uh, what is the reason for that okay and here is a picture of a globe can you see this globe yeah it's very nice picture we can see the globe as uh, an earth yeah the earth we can't see the earth as a uh, full in one side but in, in the case of a globe we can see the earth the model of earth with the help of this globe that we are discussing now the earth is uh, so huge that we cannot see the whole of it at any one time yeah we can't see the earth at in one side because it's very huge one it's a big planet actually so we can see it in one time we can however get a fairly good idea of different parts of the earth by looking at a globe but in the case of globe with the help of globe we can see the whole earth we can see we can analyze the whole earth in one within a minute because we can rotate the um, globe for uh, for looking which places uh, which uh, where the water bodies uh, where is the continents where is the oceans we can examine them all these things uh, with the help of the globe actually what is a globe hmm? a globe is a model of the earth a globe is a model of the earth and as we rotate it we can see various places actually the earth is as same the globe the direction uh, the all this uh, the globe is uh, made with all these specifications okay so if we want to know more about our earth we can use the globe also we can rotate it uh, to go through the it okay so globe is a model of the earth if we want to view a large section of the earth maps are more useful than globes next we are using to know we are using for knowing the about our earth we uh, or places globe we can use then also we can use map then what is map Ma a map which is uh, drawn on a flat surface globe you know it's a round shape and a map is a uh, in a flat on a flat surface shows us the whole earth or one big part of it if it is a world map you can see the whole world that means uh, up that uh, uh, which map we are using we can we can understand more than the earth uh, sorry globe 
A map could be large enough to be a huge hang, hang on a wall or small enough to be put in one's pocket. We can draw a map on a big wall. We can hang it in a big wall. As in the same time, we can keep it in one's pocket also. The size of the map we can reduce and also we can increase. Okay. And we may see that there is a book. In that book, so many maps are there. That is an atlas. A book of maps is called atlas. A book of maps is called atlas. Okay. So here we have discussed about what is a globe. Globe is a model of the earth. And what is a map? Map is the a map which is drawn on a flat surface. Shown as the whole earth or a or one big part of it, of it. An atlas. A book of maps is called an atlas. Okay. And the next. We can find a place on map if we know the four directions. We know that we have four directions. North, south, east and west. We want to know the directions to find out the place in map. As you stand facing a map, at the top is the north. At the top is the north. At the bottom is the south. To your right is the east and to your left is the west. Okay, we, can, uh, we know that the directions uh, by using this thing. Sailors use a magnetic compass to guide them on the way. Sailors, we know that they are going through the sea or ocean. In this sea or ocean, we can't identify the borders or the direction. We can't, we may feel all the sail as the same. So we can't move to forward. How can we? So at that time, we are using magnetic compass. With the help of the magnetic compass, this instrument which look like a watch. It is look like a watch and it has a needle that always point to the north. The compass helps ships sail in the right direction. Okay, in this is this is the picture of a compass, and in this picture we can see the directions north, south, east, and west. Here is a in this uh, red. Uh, needle we can see there is a red color needle that shows the north direction with the help of this uh, compass, um, compass the sailors are going through the sea or ocean okay so we have studied something about our earth globe map and atlas and magnetic compass and the directions four directions how can we find find out the four directions also we have discussed so have a nice day thank you